Hi guys, yo, what's up? This is Chapshu. It's been quite some time since I upload another new video as I was overseas, but now I'm back. So today I'll be doing another Legacy of Discord video, and this time I will be talking about five mistakes that some people make in LD. So some people may have known already that uh, some ungo some things that I'm going to say you might know that it's a mistake to do already in LD, but some still may not know. So I'm today going to this be talking about this topic. So the first mistake that people make is the Divine Armory. So when you go to the weapon, after you unlock the 4 weapons, Inferno, Shadow, Light, and Radiance, you can get to upgrade their weapon skill. So Inferno, Shadow, Light, Radiance. So each one as you level up, they give different types of skills. Like for the light at slot 2, it gives reduce or scale cooldown. But radiance at slot 2, when the scale is used, there is a 10% chance damage enemy for 10% of current HP if it is at level 10. So some people may not know this. So they, they think it's first upgrade around the outer circle, then go to the middle. But actually, you do not need to touch the middle circle because middle circle give a lot of basic BR, but then it don't boost a lot of the rare and the special. So what you can do is just boost slot two, slot three, and slot four. This three slots is very important for your rare. So you can see because yeah I do some recharge so they give like those uh, weapon souls so I just use it to upgrade my slot 2, 3 and 4 because that's the only place that it give uh, give rare however if you find that your attribute is okay to upgrade the middle one feel free to upgrade but then it comes, for example, this uh, Inferno at stage 20, I'll be getting crit damage reduction. So I need to upgrade two more levels, but I first prioritize in upgrading slot 2, 3, and 4 for the rare first. Second mistake that people make will be spending diamonds on chests such as metamorph, treasure, mystic chest, rough chest. So all this, you can do it by getting free and do not need to use your diamonds. Even you have, if there's happened to be a super tycoon, you can use your safe amount of gold to use it to purchase for this chest which is the mystic chest. But then, I think it's at the rough chest then you get then people will spend the gold at the rough because it gives ranging soul and honor pack honor pack you can use it to buy the ranging soul at the wing fragment shop uh, in the arena because that's the place where you can increase your points for super tycoon but now currently i think around six months there is no more super tycoon so please do not like use your diamonds for this chest because your diamonds can be used for like events or any other areas that can give you rare or special attribute so the third mistake will be buying stamina with diamonds so diamonds at 120 you can get 100 stamina but you do not need to do so because completing some quests such as fishing it gives you stamina when you catch a very high rank fish which is the red color even when you catch a low rank it still gives you some stamina and even in some time in bliss it also gives you free stamina to obtain so the fourth mistake that people make will be 
unlocking mount rather than a wing or a pet. Okay, it's not saying that mount is a wrong thing to unlock, but mount you must get at least seven star mount ornament to get the rare attribute, and this will take a lot of your diamonds and your time to get. Even I do not have a seven star ornament yet. The highest is only six star, but then the reforge for six star there is no rare. There is only special attribute. So it can be quite expensive to get a 7 star ornament which can only give maybe a s one type of rare attribute to your, to your character. However, if you unlock a pet, let's say you unlock a pumpkin, the affinity you will get when you are with another red pet will give you some Sometimes it give you, yeah, for example, for pumpkin, is with serpentis, so it give a red attribute of 5%. So roughly a red pet in a event, the cheapest will cost around 20000 And sometimes with a red pet, they may be with another red pet. Let's go to another example. Okay, for example, Celestial Fox. So this pet is kind of like a free pet. So where, because there is this place that you can bliss from, which is the Rims of Theory. So each week, if you are in the top 3 ranking, you can get at least 3 packs. Or if you are at the bottom, uh, top, I think, all this, you can get around three, 2 to 1 pack when it, you are at top. 30. And when you are at cross server, you can get more frags. However, you have to be in top. Uh, let's see. You have to be at least, I think, top 100 to get the frag from the cross server ranking. So after you please and you buy this frag here, you can actually unlock this kind of free red pad and this red pack give some of the red attribute. So for him, he is with aileron and give a damage reduction of 5%. And when he is with brawler roxy, he give extra damage of 5%. So you see when it match with two red pack, it give at least 10% of total in red attribute. So this is why I would recommend unlocking a pet and as for wing. Wing is can be quite expensive. Some wing you need to recharge and some wing it cost around 40k for just one. So when you unlock one wing, you can start to amplify it and normally I think uh rank 10 and above, you can get some rare attribute from the wing. So even when you are not a wing and you are not able to amplify it as you level it up, it can give certain amount of special attribute to your wing. For example, rough wing, it gives crit and resilience. And when you reach the maximum of level 50, it gives a total of at level 150 is from 1 to 50, the quick, critical and resilience add up. So for Elixio, it's also the same. I think now there's a lot of people that getting Poseidon, Prophecy and Elixio. All these 3 wings, you can get the frag, amplify it to the max and when they ask you to rank up, then you slowly save the frag or buy the frag using your save diamonds and evolve it to further amplify the wing. So, for me, in my opinion, a wing and a pet, when you combine together, it actually it costs cheaper than a mount. For example, you are a red mount because it's nice. It costs around three hundred k to play in a in an event, and it can be quite expensive in my opinion. 
But then if you are those top player ranking aiming for top 5 to get a mount, yeah, you can feel free to do so. But I want to use your diamonds efficiently to get a wing or a pet. Because recently I saw some of the recharge gift. It's that you recharge 10k, you can get a mount. But you need to buy recharge under 10 times, which I don't think you should do it. You can use it like recharge to get a rough wing or a mount. And rough wing, uh, like a wing, you can amplify it. But then a mount, you can only use it to display. And maybe the divine, the scale of the mount is. Quite good like the divinity but then I still think that a wing or a pet will be more efficient for you to build up your character so the fifth mistake and the last one will be ascension of wings okay so many people see that oh uh, ascension of wings you can get a lot of like PR from there or like uh, the basic attribute and also like it gives different kind of ascension at different level of rank so now I'm currently at rank 25 so from 1 to 25 I have unlocked it so for me I would rather you amplify or evolve it first the reason I say amplify or evolve it is that once you evolve it you can at least amplify more and when you amplify more you can get the red attribute however if the wing does not give a red and rare and or special attribute you can uh, use it to ascension it or evolve your wing to max level and if you access then you ascend your wings so this way your VR will be more stable and you can have a less imbalanced VR so I hope you guys uh, learn some things from this video and I see you guys in the next video thanks for watching